credit cards use a rather similar idea, similar encryption, but it's a little different. And we're gradually working towards an understanding of what is the general structure of all these things. So probably your credit card, um, it may have a 12 or a 16 digit form. Here's a 16 digit form. So I've just invented uh, a number here. And uh, what we do is that first of all, we adopt uh, a test that's become known as the Loon test because it was created by Peter Loon uh, when he worked for IBM in the 1950s. So he was, in, he was asked to invent uh, a secure uh, check digit encryption for banking numbers at that time. And this is what he came up with. And it's remained, remained pretty much an industry standard ever since. So you work from the left to the right, you take every other digit, so all the odd placed ones, the first, the third, the fifth, and so forth, you double them, okay, uh, if um, the result you get is sort of uh, uh, bigger than nine, then you just uh, uh, go round again, okay, so, so if you've got uh, 14, you just add the two digits together to get five. Okay, so, so and here if you doubled 9, uh, you get 18, you add them together, 1 plus 8, you get 9. So when you do that, um, this is what happens to those uh, odd placed numbers. So the 4 goes to 8, and uh, the 1 goes to 2, and so on. And then you add the 1 and the 8, and the 1 and the 4, and the 1 and the 0 together, and you've got 8026592. Uh, and what you now do is to add those uh, digits together and add then the other digits which were in the even numbered positions. So what you're doing here is creating a sort of weighted sum. You're adding the even position digits to some multiplier times the odd position digits. So if you do that, you end up with 33 plus the even slots, you get 60. And for your credit card number to be valid, this number must be divisible by 10. And this number clearly is. Okay? So if you're in the business of creating fake uh, credit cards, okay, this is the constraint that you, you have to meet. Uh, but, uh, so here's an example that fails. Okay? So if you had made a, a, a transcription error here at the end, on the 3 and the 4, a 0 and 0, you would find this sum gave you 57, and this would fail. So this little algorithm uh, catches every single digit mistake, so every mistyping of a single number, and it contains uh, all, it contains almost every uh, swapping of numbers which are next door to each other, being erroneously changed. So one that it doesn't, I've given here 09 and 90, so when you come to make the addition, uh, it doesn't make any difference. So you can go home and check your credit cards uh, on the journey home uh, that they're all valid. Uh, don't ring me if they're not. But, um, so uh, it's always interesting to look at some of these advertisements for, for cards. I pick some on the web and you can see whether the numbers are valid or not. This one uh, is not valid. I guess credit cards learnt their lesson. There was a famous advertising campaign for Barclay card that must probably about 30 years ago where they always had the card in the name of someone, John Stevens, if you remember that, and there was a card number. And then there was a very large fraud against the company using the name and number of the card on the, advertise <laughs> on the advertising scheme. Um, so someone was going around making phone orders for things in the name of John Stevens using the number on the, on the advertisement, which was a valid number. Um, so one would have thought that they might have thought of that. Uh, 